Hello, this is Bonnie, and today I am going to be making um, some stockings, actually, out of paper um, that will be gift card holders, or you could put anything inside of them. And I'm going to be using the newest release from Fairy Hugs, our Christmas release, and I'm going to be using some papers that we've had in our collection. The two papers I'm going to be using is Misty Whisk, and I'm going to be using the green paper in here. And from Evening Field, I am going to be using the red and white. It worked really well for a red Christmas stocking. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you. You could actually cut these out by hand if you wanted to, if you had a template. But I have um, a die that is memory box die. It is probably a little bit older. It's from 2019. But you could probably find something, a template that you could make your own, and it works really well. So this is the one from Evening Field, and it actually comes with um, the sock too, or the, the toe part. I am not going to be using that because of what I'm going to be stamping, and it also has a top. Now for this particular die, they want you to hand stitch all the way around. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be using that as a stitching um, look, and I'm just going to be gluing that together when I'm done. So. Um, the other one I'm going to be making is the green one, as I told you, um, from the other paper, Misty Whisk. So I've got both of those cut out, ready to go, ready to stamp. I'm just going to go ahead and get my stamping platform and we'll get going. Okay, so I've got my stocking done. There is one thing I wanted to tell you about the stockings. When you go to cut these stockings out, you have to make sure you have one going one way and one going the other way. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to back it with the same paper. So when you go to cut it out, you actually have to, like I cut the um, this one out. Whoops, got stuck to my magnet. I stuck this, I stuck, I cut this one out so that um, it went this way. And then what I did was I took my paper for this one, turned it over the other way and cut it. I try to make sure I lined it up to where I want, but this was gonna be on the back anyway. So that's just a tip. And of course, if you're doing it by hand, it, you should know that you need to have a front and a back. And they need to go in a different direction. So the stamps I'm gonna be using from the new release, this one's called Angie. And I'm also going to be using Sleepy. It's a little mouse in a walnut shell for a bed. And I'm also going to be using the sentiment Twas the Night Before Christmas, and that's gonna go at the top of the stocking. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. And actually it works really well. She fits now, like I said, she didn't fit really well with this at the bottom, but I didn't think it was that big of a deal for this one. The other one I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna use that, the toe part. So she's gonna be sitting here, and I wanna show you how I'm lining that up. And then she's gonna be um, observing the little um, mouse called Sleepy. I gotta turn that the other way around. So he will have to go about right there. So I have to make sure I get that in the right place. So I'm gonna get her over as far as I can to allow him some room. And again, you can cut yours out so that it works for whatever um, scene that you want to make. So that's gonna work really well. I am going to be using um, VersaFine Clear Nocturne and I will be probably coloring her um, afterwards with Prismacolor pencils. And I'll show you the finished look at the very beginning of the video. So make sure that absorbs into the paper. Need to stamp that one more time and that's largely due to the fact that my ink pad has been used a lot this week and probably needs ink again okay let's 
take a look at that. Yep, I think that's gonna, I think I can see I need a little bit more. I don't have the light overhead and so it's sometimes harder for me and I don't want it overhead right now because it glares, but then it doesn't allow me to see as clearly. Okay, there we go. That's good. I need more ink. Um, so the next part is gonna be for our little mouse. And like I said, I wanted to make sure he is gonna fit in that. I wish these two pieces were separate. It's easier that way. Um, but I think, you know, actually, I'm gonna actually put him in first. I think I can see that's gonna work. All right. Get our little sleepy guy right there. And again, I'm gonna use Nocturne. Perfect. That looked perfect. And then our little walnut guy, walnut thing underneath. Make sure that fits. Oh, that's great. Looks super. All right, so that's going to be our scene on our stocking. And like I said, I'll give it a little bit of color. And then for the top part, I am going to be putting the sentiment. And I'm going to be using the little white bit right there. Make sure I have room for my sentiment. Pull that out. Of course, I moved it. There it is. Okay, I wanna make sure I have room. That's gonna go right there. I'm gonna put the tape to the side, I think. I don't want it to move. Especially if I have to stamp this one twice. Okay, I can see my tape's gonna be in the way. like that. There we go. And I'll put this down here at the very bottom. And I think that's good. That should work. And I need my sentiment. I think I'm going to go up a little bit higher to the side. It actually fit perfect on here. I was surprised. It wasn't the plan originally. Alright, I'm going to use um, VersaFine Clear Nocturne again. Okay, that turned out super. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this all together, but before we do that, I am gonna go ahead, let me show you what this is. Basically, that's our plan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the green one, and we'll start doing some stamping on this one as well. Now remember, you could even reverse this depending on what it is that you are wanting to stamp. But I know that I'm gonna go this direction, and this one, I haven't set up as well, so you get to actually watch me figure out exactly how I'm going to do that. I know what I want to put on there. I kind of like auditioned it, but I wasn't 100% sure. And I think it's going to have to go off to the side, no matter what I do. And I'm going to be using the holiday, the new holiday mushroom, and I'm considering that my Christmas tree. I am going to be using the new Watts and Artie Gnomes. And this one is technically, 
even though they don't say which one's which, um, this one's Watts, the ones with his hands on his hips. And he's gonna be on here. Let me see how much I can get that mushroom might be able to totally go on. I think it can. Okay, cool. Um, and then I'm gonna put little Watts to the side. So um, I wanted to show you this too. They, it comes with stars, ornaments, and candles. So um, I've used the candles on another new release, a Christmas release, it looks really good. Um, so I really, really like all these little additions to this particular stamp. All right, so I haven't used this one yet. I make sure um, our little guy Watts is gonna work. Um, I might not be able to put that little white thing at the bottom if I do it this way, let's see. I don't think so. I had wanted to, unless I put it down a little bit further. Nope, it's gonna go right over him. So, and I wanna make sure I have enough room for the thing at the top. So it's gotta fit all on. And I wanna do, I do wanna put a star at the top of that. So let's put Mr. Watts down a little bit further so we can get that star. Even if I have to put that up a little higher. Okay, I think that's good. That's how I figure when I go to do it. Lots of times I'll put this, the papers that they come with and I'll, and I'll see how that works, but I have to also figure how all this is gonna go together. So again, for this stamp, whoops, I'm gonna need more. I'm just gonna pull that right up. Try that again. Another way you can test it, see? If that pulls it up, you know that your stamp is a little bit too sticky and when you go to do it, it might pull your paper up and then when you go to do it a second time, it might be off. So I always try to kind of like make it so that I take a little bit of that off so it's not as sticky. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use Nocturne. I was considering doing using um, morning mist so I could color it in well, but I think I still can color this in. We'll see how it works. All right, and this could take me a little bit longer stamping, only because I'm gonna probably add the um, candles and the um, star to it. I could also add the ornaments. Just depends on what you wanna do. Okay, it needs to be stamped one more time. I really apologize for not having more ink in my ink pad. I'll have to make sure I get that done before I do another video. Oh, that looks super. And this is what I love about Fairy Hug stamps. Look at the, look at the dots underneath. That's just really awesome. So I really, really love that. Okay, so our, our Mr. Watts is gonna go down here at the bottom. I think, yep, yeah, that's gonna work. And again, I haven't used him yet, so he's still a little sticky. New stamps tend to be sticky. Good quality, I think, stamps tend to be sticky. I think he's adorable. Okay, he looks great. So I'm really excited about that. So let's go ahead and put the star on. Again, this one's got a little bit sticky. And when they're little and they're sticky, they stick to your hands, it's hard to get them in the right place. All right, I'm gonna put that one down a little bit, just because I know the top. There we go. I know this top white part is close. I should tell you how, I don't know what the size of this is. I should have measured it, I still can. Okay, on here it does say the size of it, just to give you an idea. Um, it must be the one that's four by three by 5.6. Um, that sounds about right, because this fit on a six inch piece of paper. So, I mean, that sounds about right. It's about six inches tall. 
So, and you can kind of tell going across the grid on here almost what it is too. Um, it looks like it's about two and it's about two and a half inches. So it's it's a substantial it's a substantial die. All right, so now I can put the candles on and um, the candles on here. One kind of like um, flickers one way, and one flickers the other. It doesn't really matter how you want to put it on, but um, I like to do it that way. And again, to line those up isn't too bad. It just takes a little bit of time. I probably could have put a bunch on at one time and stamp it all at once. And I didn't. So there's that one very quickly. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one up here. But off to the side, if I can do it. There we go. Okay. And put that back on so we don't lose it. And now we're going the other direction. All right, and one at the top. Okay. So if I wanted to add a little bit of ornaments, let's see here. Um, I have a bell and then I just have a lot of cute little ornaments, all different ones that I could put on there. I kind of like, um, I like them all. Um, I think I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use a circle this time. I haven't used a circle yet. I've used the um, candles and um, See, this is what I mean by sticking. I've used the candles and I've used the ornament, a smaller ornament, on, the, on another of our brand new Christmas release. It's called Festive Branch. And it also comes with ornaments and lights and all kinds of things. Mistletoe, it's really cute. Oh, this one's just sticking all over the place. Cooperate with me, I'm doing a video, please. Okay, that one's gonna work. There we go. Okay, see how that looks really good. Okay, I think I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna say that's good. I mean, I could add a lot more. There's so many to choose from in there. I could put another one right there, but you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna pull out another um, really, um, another stamp from our release to put down here I think would be really super. Um, and that one is, let's see if I can find it really quick, it's called Snail um, Mail and it comes with presents. Super cute. Um, let me show you. Here it is. This is super cute and it has three different um, packages. And the packages will look great underneath this tree, if I wanted it underneath the tree, or even if I wanted him to stand on, I could have him stand on one, that would be fun. Let's make sure I have him this one the right way up. I think I do. Where did I just set that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's see, I'm gonna make sure I've got this going the right way. Okay, it goes the other way. Okay, I'm gonna have him stand on the package because he can right there. All right. These are really fun. You can make your little scenes and everything, and this is just fun to also make it as a, a gift card holder, I think. Oh, he's kind of jumping, I think. He looks like he's jumping. I didn't get close enough, but that's okay. I can fix it too when I color. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to use the smallest one in that and put that over to the side. But he looks like he's jumping. And I'll tell you what, he if he's jumping on those presents, we have another sentiment that would go perfect with him. Um, it's called, um, what is it called? Let's see here. 
It's called Made the List, and it's called You Made the Nice List, You Made the Naughty List. I think maybe he needs to be on the naughty list if he's jumping on the presents. What do you think? Okay. The present's kind of floating too. Should have made it closer. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I think that looks good. I think that's um, a great way to do that. I don't know if I can put that on here, if it's gonna have room. I'm just really curious. I think this is gonna be too long to put the um, sentiment, you made the naughty list. So it's not what I had planned on doing, but it could actually be a little tag coming off. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a little tag coming off that says you made the naughty list. Um, Cause I think that'll be funny. So there we go for this one. That's two, but I want to also add something to the top of this one. And yep, this goes that way. Okay, yeah, that's right. I never mind. I just I flipped it over because I ended up using this that I had used backside for. Okay. So tape this down, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for this. It's not going to be a sentiment. It is going to be another um, release that we have from the Christmas release, and this is called Santa's Sleigh. And I'm just going to put that on there like that. So that's really cool. I'm just gonna make sure I can find where I just put that and I don't see it. So I need to go find my sleigh and I'll be right back. All right, so I found my Santa sleigh. For the life of me, I thought I lost it. I had put it on my um, sheet like this and glancing at it from a distance, I thought it was a tree. And so I was looking everywhere for it and finally discovered my tree is not a tree, but it is a Santa sleigh. I just thought that was funny because um, I was looking all over for it. And I thought I lost it and I thought, how am I gonna finish this video if I don't have what I need to finish it? But I do. All right. So this took a little bit of time showing you all of the um, stamping, but I think that it was important to see, um, how much I was talking and I don't, there we go. Yeah, I'm gonna get this down here a minute. Stamp it again. I thought it was important for you to see um, how to put this all together if you wanted to do a stocking. And normally I could have just showed you what it all looked like, already done, but I thought maybe you'd like to see. All right. So we have our pieces all ready to put together. Like, and let me show you really quickly. And I will come back with them together so you can see what they look like. And I'm gonna make, like I said, a little tag on here for this one. I might even make a, a nice tag for this one. So I think they'll make really cute little gift card holders. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the um, red one completely put together and I'm showing you how a credit card can fit inside of this particular um, die. And what I did is I used a brad and I put, you made the nice list. Um, you could always change that out if you put it on as a brad. Um, you could have the setting out and they could be the naughty list and then as it gets close to Christmas, it can be changed. You could do whatever you wanna do. But anyway, this is what this looks like. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna color this in and show you at the beginning of the video um, a picture of what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put, how I put that all together, um, the green one. And to make sure that I had enough uh, space for the credit card, I just made sure that I um, put the glue on the other side of the stitching. And make sure I can get my glue to come out now. That length of time, it kinda of dried up. So, um, but that's what I did. I went all the way around that. and see if I can do that for you. Okay. Come on, glue. There we go. So just along that whole entire outside between the stitches and the outside edge. So you don't have to hand stitch this if you don't want to or you can plain and simple um, 
even if you wanted to stitch with the machine, you can stitch on top of it. I wouldn't because of the holes. There's too many holes. Um, so anyway, just line that up. And um, you can tell that you're really lining it up too because of the holes. And this glue works really well, so it adheres quickly. And then I've got the top. But before you put the top on, I wanted to show you um, what I went ahead and did is I hole punched it. It makes it much easier to hole punch it um, before you put it on. And I hole punched it to put the brad in. So that it's much easier to put that hole punch in there. And you'll see what I mean. I'll show you the tag and how I did that too. So I put um, double-sided foam tape to make it raised up a little bit. And I'm just above the um, star, which is what I was hoping for. And that's how that's gonna go. And then on the back, I'm gonna do the same thing. And um, just line that up. Just like that. Okay, so that's the back. And you can even put on the back, we also have the sentiments um, that say to and from or for you. This is also new for the Christmas release. It's called Special Delivery. You can put to and from on the back here, and that works really well too. Didn't even think to tell you that for the last one. And so this is what this stocking would look like. And I wanted to show you how I went ahead, and oh, there it is. Um, this is the, um, you made the naughty list. All I did is just stamp, stamp it on a piece of um, scrap. Now, if you have a die that will cut this out, that's great. I usually just do it by hand. Um, Cause I think sizes are always different, but I know there's dies out there that do all different sizes. So that's all I did. And then I use my, that needs a little bit shorter. Okay, and then I just come in and um, cut that up the center and to the side. I learned that from somebody a long time ago on a, on a YouTube video, I think, yeah. So then for the brad, I just use a little white, whoops, I forgot I got a punch hole for this one, and um, right. So just punch a little hole for that. Now we're ready for the bread. Of course, I just set it down. Oh, there it is. You probably saw it. I couldn't see it. Okay, and then you just um, put that through that little hole right there. And again, I probably could have put this on before I put the put it on the front. Would have been smarter, given my room, my fingers more room. All right, and that's how that one looks. So now we have two stockings, and that works really good for gifts if that's what you're wanting to do. Quick little gift like that. They can even be, these can be mailed. They're not thick, so um, they're kind of fun. So I appreciate you stopping by. I hope that inspired you, um, and we'll see you again real soon.